In today's training, I'm going to walk you through how to integrate your Hawk sections into Canvas. We are pleased to offer a synchronization tool, which allows you to link your class roster and grades between Hawks and Canvas, as well as create direct Hawks assignment links within Canvas. We also offer a single sign-on tool, which allows students to access their Hawks accounts directly from within your Canvas course. If you are new to using Hawks, please reach out to your training and support specialist if you'd like to integrate Hawks within your LMS. Your LMS administrator will need to make our links available to you within Canvas. Now to get started, you'll log into your Canvas account and you'll navigate to your course. You'll then select modules from the menu on the left and we will then add a module. We recommend naming the module Hawks Learning so that is clear to your students. And then we will add that module. And to that module, we will add our two external tools. So we'll first change this from assignment to external tool. And we'll first select the Hawks Learning Sync tool and add item. We'll then click that gray plus sign again, and then add the Hawks Learning Single Sign-On tool. Once we have both tools listed, we will actually publish this module so that the students can access the single sign-on link, but we're going to unpublish the sync tool since that is just for you as an instructor. Now students can use this single sign-on link to access their Hawks account directly through Canvas. So this will create their account for them. It will give them temporary access to get started in the course and it will enroll them into your section. So they can click right here and their account will automatically be created. There is another way that students will be able to access Hawks directly through Canvas and I'll show you that towards the end. We'll first wanna take a few steps in the sync tool uh, before we can see that. So now to get started with linking your section, you're gonna click right on the sync tool. And now to access the sync tool, you'll first need to provide your teach login information. So here I will select that. If you have not yet set up your teach account, please reach out to your training and support specialist for assistance with that. Now you are going to select the Hawk section that corresponds with the Canvas course you're working with. If you do need to select a different product or a different instructor, if you are a gradebook administrator, for example, you can use these drop down menus here to select a different product or instructor. Note that there is a checkbox down here below your sections list where you can choose to enable the students tab. You do not need to select this option if you have enabled the single sign on tool for students as they will be linking themselves when they click on the tool. The Students tab is most often used for troubleshooting later in the semester and can be enabled at a later time through the Setup button in the top right corner of the Sync tool, as you'll see in a moment. For now, we'll click Continue, and we will now see the Sync tool. And up in the top right corner, there is that Setup button that I mentioned, but again, you shouldn't need to enable that Students tab until you are doing some troubleshooting later in the semester, and your Training and Support Specialist can certainly guide you through that. I'll now give you a quick overview of each of these tabs here within the sync tool. What you'll be using most heavily at the start of the semester are the assignments tab and the schedule sync tab. These other two tabs you won't really need to access very much, but I will still give a quick explanation of each. Now under the assignments tab, this is where you are going to link your assignments. So that way a column is created in your grading center for each assignment for those grades to sync into. And this will also be where we're creating those direct links to the assignments right within Canvas. So what I recommend doing here is selecting all of your assignments, but deselecting the assignment groups. So you'll notice that we have the assignment groups from your Hawks gradebook in dark green and the individual assignments in light green. If you want to create those direct assignment links, you can just select those individual assignments. You can then group them and weight them according to your assignment groups separately within Canvas so that it is correctly calculating right within Canvas. Sometimes if you do both your assignment groups and your individual assignments, you end up with some doubling up of the grades. So we want to pick either one or the other. If you do just want those assignment group averages, feel free to just select the dark green, but that will 
take away that option for students to use the direct links to access Hawks assignments. So for this example, I'm going to just select those individual assignments and deselect my assignment groups. Note that create LMS column is the default option in the actions column. I'm now going to click sync. I will then confirm and those assignments are now being linked. So when we do have those direct assignment links created, they are going to show up here under the assignments tab, which we'll visit at the end before wrapping up. And here you'll just have your confirmation page and from here we can move on. Now I'm gonna go ahead and jump down to the schedule sync tab. As I said, this is the other tab that you'll want to make sure you go to at the beginning when you are setting up your course. This is where you can enable auto sync. If you select this option here, sync grades to LMS daily, each day automatically overnight, your grades will sync from Hawks over to Canvas. So as students complete any assignments within those 24 hours, they will then sync over the next um, overnight so that they're available the next day. All right, so all you need to do is check this one checkbox and that will automatically happen. Now, um, we do have this tab here for assignment grades. This is where you can manually sync your students' grades. So if you had your students linked after they've clicked the single sign-on link, they would show up here along with all of your synced assignments and you could manually select which students and which assignments to link. Since you are likely going to enable that schedule sync, you probably won't need to come to the assignment grades tab very often unless there is a troubleshooting scenario, um, such as with a student that is unlinked. Final grades is where you are able to sync final grades from Hawks to Canvas. So those would be the final calculated grades. I recommend that you disregard this tab. If you're going to be syncing over those individual assignments, grouping them in Canvas and having Canvas calculate your final grades, you shouldn't need this final grades tab at all. So again, in summary, when you are setting up your course, when you are linking it from Hawks to Canvas, you'll wanna make sure to link your assignments, choosing either those light green individual assignments or those dark green assignment groups. And then you will want to enable that schedule sync. So you really should not have to return to the sync tool once you do those steps at the beginning. Unless you do add any additional assignments throughout the semester, then you will need to just come to this assignments tab, sync those specific assignments, and you'll be able to move on from there. If you do come to the assignments tab and you notice that you don't see all of your assignments, just go ahead and change this results 40 to show all, and that will help you see all of your assignments. All right, now that we have linked the section, let's go ahead over to the assignments tab from here on the left. And this is where we will see those direct assignment links that we created. So here you'll see they're all automatically grouped under a Hawks group. So here we have all of those lessons and we have those quiz, that quiz and that unit exam. I recommend that you break this up, you add additional groups, and then you can mirror your assignment groups from Hawks here. And then you do have the option to give those assignment groups weight. That way you can mirror your setup in Hawks and have those grades calculate properly. Um, one note about these direct links, these will take students directly to the landing page for this assignment. So they can use either these links or that single sign-on link to access their Hawks assignments. We'll take them to the same account, but this will take them straight to an assignment versus that single sign-on tool will take them to their dashboard. So either way, these links will take them to the same place, create the account when they click on them the very first time, and they can continue work from there. We'll now just go to the grade section so that way you can see those columns that have been created here. And so here you'll see each of those assignments have been given a column here. This is where those grades will sync to each night overnight and that way you can track those here. So those will sync over. And you do have the option to update any of the ordering or grouping again as you'd like. All right, so if you do have any additional questions or if you would like a more in-depth training of our Canvas synchronization tools, please feel free to reach out to your dedicated training and support specialist or email us at training at hawkslearning.com.
All right. Well, we hope this was a helpful um, webinar for you as you are preparing for the start of the spring semester. Um, we have reserved a little bit of time here for questions. So if you do have any questions, feel free to enter those into the Q&A section um, below if you do. Um, and let's see if we have any here now. Looks like we have one here about the student sign in. Um, and the question is, is there a specific browser that students should use when accessing Hawks through Canvas? Our recommendation is that students use specifically um, Google Chrome or um, Firefox to access Hawks through their LMS. That typically provides the best experience. Sometimes Internet Explorer or Safari will have security settings that are default that block the tool from working properly. So if you do have any students that say they are getting an error message when using the links in Canvas, have them try that first. Um, that is typically the cause is that they're using one of those um, one of those browsers that have those restrictions. So our recommendation would be either Chrome or Firefox. Let's see if we have any other questions here. OK, one more here, and that is, can I copy my previous Canvas course and use the same direct assignment links that I created from last semester? So that is possible. Um, what you can do is use the Assignments tab of the Sync tool to select those links. So let's say, so if we go back to that page here, what you'll see is, for example, if you last semester had these same assignments, you could use this drop down right here where it says action to perform and change this from create LMS column to select the previously created item. So those would all be listed here if you did copy a previous Canvas course shell. All right, and if you do need any help with that, we can definitely help with that on an individual basis as well. And let's see, we have a couple other questions here. Um, one is, can you change the point value easily for assignments? So the point value will come over to Canvas to match what you have assigned it or what you have set in Hawks. If you do make a change in Hawks, um, really the best way to make that update push over to Canvas would be to actually come to this assignments tab here and unlink this particular assignment. So let's say you change the point value for lessons 1.1 through 1.8. I would come here where it says create LMS column, change that to unlink, and then click sync, follow the prompts. That will break the link and remove that old link. And then you can relink the assignment, come here and say create LMS column. And when you do create it, it will have that updated point value. You can also just mirror it in Canvas. So if you do make that change, maybe from 10 points to eight points in Hawks, and then you need to make that change in Canvas as well. If you find it easier than the deletion and then recreation process, you can also just simply go into Canvas and change the point value manually there. All right, we have a couple other questions here. Um, there's a question here that says, will I have control to when students see the weekly assignments during the semester in Canvas? So unfortunately, I don't know the answer to that one. Um, I know that all of these links do appear automatically when you create them. So one option could be to just sync over the particular lessons one week at the time. So rather than do them all at the beginning, make sure you wait each week and just do the chunk that you'd like. Um, another option could be to, um, that may be a setting in Canvas where you can hide certain assignments within um, that assignments area. So that might be a better question for um, your Canvas contact on campus. And then I have another question here that says, students can add my class 10 days into the semester. How would I add them to the semester beginning process? So those students could actually still use that single sign-on link. So either the single sign-on link or any of the direct assignment links. So those will remain active for brand new students who don't already have access um, up until the first 15 days of the semester. So just our standard temporary access rules where they can get their own access within, those, um, within that 15 day window. Um, past that, if a student does join the class late and they miss that window to get temporary access, 
they can still click on any of these links. So they could still click specifically on one of those assignment links or on the single sign on link, and it would bring them to Hawks. They would just have a message that says you can no longer request temporary access. And in that case, they'd have the activate button where they could select that and say, and I'd like to purchase online, or they could enter the code they've purchased from the bookstore. So nothing really specific to remember if you do have students add late, um, that shouldn't be a problem for the most part, um, but they either way, they can always still click on those Hawks links. They won't disable to the student. They'll just be redirected that they need to purchase or enter their purchase access. All right, so we don't have any other questions here for now. So let's see, I think we should be good to go. Any last minute ones here? All right, well, thank you all so much for your time today and do feel free to contact us if you do have any additional questions. Um, it's usually most helpful in these situations to be able to share screens um, and look at things together. So if you do have questions or want any help walking through the steps, feel free to reach out directly to your training and support representative, or you can email us at training at hawkslearning.com or call that main phone number or use our live chat. Either way, it's usually best if we can schedule a time to share screens. So just keep that in mind. But thank you again for your time today. And I hope you all have a great rest of your day.